Hello. Topic mockups and smart mockups. Smart mockups are available in three places in Canva. Two of them are on the Canva editor page. So let's take a look. Let's choose any design. I choose social media and Facebook cover. Click create blank. So the first place is when we go to the left side menu on the Canva editor page, apps, and find mockups. Or we can type mockups into the search box and select. When we click on mockups, they appear in the left side menu. Here are the themes. We can see the most popular ones. We can select by topics, smartphones, computers, and etc. So we choose a theme. Let's say I choose this topic. We can zoom in. Now we need to find a photo. We can choose our own from the uploads or we can choose from canvas. Let's go to the photos and choose. For example, I choose this one and I drag it into the mockups and here is the photo. Now let's go to mockups and the following table appears. If it doesn't appear for you, click on the mockup layout and here we can adjust the settings. We can choose the fit, we can adjust left, right, center, or we can flip it vertical, horizontal, or we can choose fill. When everything fits, let's click next to the design. So we can find the mockups by going to apps and mockups, or we can find them by going to edit photo. Let's have a look. Let's choose any photo. I go to photos and I select this photo. Now let's click on the photo and go to edit photos and find mockups a little bit below in the new Canva menu, right here. The same mockups opens on the left side menu. And again, we can choose the mockups for example, I choose this one. And now let's take the photo and drag it into the mockup. And the photo appears in the mockup. If we want to adjust it, let's click on the mockup. And on the left side menu, there should be a window for editing the settings. Here we can also adjust the settings. So the first way, mockups. Now for the second way, smart mockups. I like it better. Let's add a new page and close the mockups. And now select any photo. For example, I am choosing this one. And now let's go to edit photo and switch to the old editor page. Let's click here and revert to the old editor. And now let's click on the photo again and go to edit photo. And we can see that this is already the old menu. And now let's find the smart mockups. If you have never used it, you will find it somewhere in the bottom of the page. Find it, click on it, and activate it. So here we see all themes, smartphones, computers, and etc. Let's choose whatever theme we want. For example, I'm choosing this one. And the photo automatically appears in the smart markup. If we want to adjust, Let's click on the same smart mockup and we can adjust the settings. We can see fit, custom, 
And here we can adjust the settings. When everything fits, we click on apply. So the second place is smart mockups. We choose any photo. For example, I choosing this one. We click on the photo, edit photo, old menu, smart mockups, and choose whatever smart mockup we want. For example, I am choosing this one, and we can see the photo has appeared in the smart mockup. If we want, we can click on another smart mockup, and we can see that our photo changes with the smart mockup. And if we want to adjust the photo, we can click on the selected smart mockup and adjust the settings. If everything fits, click apply. So we've discussed the second way, and now we are left with the third. We'll find it on the Canva homepage. Click on apps and select smart mockups. We can see a lot of smart mockups layouts. Choose a theme from the pop-up menu. And we can see a lot of paid and free smart mockups. So let's choose a smart mockup. I'm choosing this one. And now we need to choose a photo or our own design. I am choosing the photo. And I click select. Now we can click adjust image, call fit, or we can just drag our photo. And we can click save. And if it's all right now, we can click save mockup. If we want to delete a photo, we can click delete and choose another photo. For example, I'm choosing this one and click select. I can adjust the settings. And click save and click Save Mockups. And here we have two choices. We can click Use in Design or Download. If we click Download, the mockup will be placed in our downloaded folder. If we click Use in Design, we can choose the size. For example, I'm choosing an Instagram post, and then we will see the mockup in the size we have chosen. And the fourth way, bonus tips. Let's take a look. First, we need to choose a size and create a design or upload a photo. So I click on presentation and create blank. And this time I want to make a print screen. I open the window and uh, I clicking shift windows plus S select the location and let's go to canva windows and now clicking ctrl plus v to paste we can resize it now let's go to the share button and click on the three dots more and find smart mockups we can enter smart mockups and here we see smart mockups. And we can click open. If you never sign up, let's click open and now we need to sign up. So I quickly sign up, enter my details. And now I need to enter the confirmation code that came to the email address I provided. So I'm going to my email and copying the code and here I'm pasting it. 
and there we are, sign up and log it into Smart Markups. Let's go back to the Canva. We can wait for our connection or we can click F5 to reload the page. And let's go back to share button, three dots more, Smart Markups. And now let's click connect, connect. And save. A ribbon will pop up where we can click view in smart mockups. And now our design has been moved to the smart mockups page. We can see all the topics. For example, I choose desktop and I choose free. And we can choose. For example, I choose this one and we can make adjustments. I click on customize and image and we can adjust the position, minimize, flip. And when it fits, we click on crop and continue. And when we want to download, we click on download. Let's choose the size and click download. And our smart markups have been added to our downloads folder. If you want to search for more markups, we can go back and select themes again and make more adjustments and we will download. If we want to go back to Canva and get another photo or design, for example, let's go back to Canva, create the design or take a template. We can click share, go to three dots more, find smart mockups, click connect, choose themes, adjust the settings and download. And if we want to move the smart mockup back to Canva, let's go to our downloads folder, grab the photo and drag it to Canva. And there you have the smart mockup. That's it about the smart mockups. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you next time.